struggle that initially led to the Food Collective being created was about what kinds of food options would be available to students. That's where it really started. Um, there was a storefront that was going to be placed on campus that offered really unhealthy uh, food without uh, any of the things that we really value in food, without the sustainability, without, without the fairness, without the community building. And a lot of students actually said, we don't want this. We don't want something that's actually going to hurt the ecosystem, that's going to hurt our health, that's going to hurt community. And in the process of that struggle, which was successful, they actually organized and convinced the university not to provide storefront space to that store. Students realized that the things they did want, the real food, fair and, the, and sustainable, wasn't, wasn't available to them and that someone needed to provide that. So uh, they got organized, they did a lot of talking about what kind of structure, what kind of place would actually help provide real food to the whole community. They came up with a collective structure that's run as a nonprofit. We can provide food affordably and uh, they were lucky enough to win a couple of grants for that project to get it started and that was the beginning. That was how we were able to uh, rent out this wonderful space. That was how we were able to get the supplies that we needed. My name is Gwen. I'm the operations manager of the Berkeley Student Food Collective and uh, we are a three-year-old organization, a nonprofit, a collective, and a grocery store. And we're volunteer run. So we have all these different facets that make us a very unique um, organization. So our mission is to provide affordable uh, healthy, real food to students and the Berkeley community. And some ways we do that are by following the Real Food Challenge guidelines, which uh, there are four guidelines. So we have humane, and then we also have eco-friendly. So the third guideline we have is fair trade. And the last guideline we have is local. We're volunteer run, so we have about 120 volunteers, you know, on and off, um, who help operate the store, selling produce on campus uh, at no cost. Uh, I'm Ruth Barrett. I'm a member. I'm uh, on the membership committee, which means that I do a fair amount of thinking about how we can manage being a volunteer-run collective, how we can structure things, um, how we can make this a great place to be a member. Um, I also work a shift in the storefront. Food justice has been important to me for a long time and uh, community is also something that's really important to me and this was a space where a lot of people were taking their own time uh, to organize around doing something really good for, for our food system, making change and um, connecting with each other, having a good time while they do it. So I, I saw that and I really wanted to be involved and I've, I've loved it ever since. We're very ambitious. <laughs> uh, we want to provide affordable food that's sustainable, that supports community. We also uh, want to educate the public at large and specifically to provide the membership opportunity as an educational opportunity where people can come and learn about the workings of providing food, of being part of a food distribution system. Our mission is both to raise awareness and to provide skills and education and also to make social and environmental change around food justice by actually participating and providing uh, that healthy, uh, sustainable, uh, fair food.